everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video. We're gonna talk about this one. This is the new burst on palette for November from BH Cosmetics. This is the Citrine palette. We're gonna try it out on my eyes, we're gonna swatch it, and we're gonna see whether or not this is worth picking out because look at this. It is such a fun yellow and neutral palette. I just this is for me a color story that I really enjoy when it comes to browns, yellows and browns together. So if you haven't been here before, if this is your first video here, hello, my name is Angie, I'm such a lover of beauty makeup, I love everything beauty makeup related, especially colorful things, so we are definitely going in with the yellow today. We'll add a little brown, but yellow, yellow is the main star. And if you want to see some more color in your timeline, don't forget to subscribe because I upload five videos a week. Although this is a bonus video. This week it's a lot more. A lot more videos this week, but normally five. <laughs> This video is going up today on Thursday and I actually filmed this video today on Thursday and I'm also having a live today because I want to talk, I have it here on the floor, I want to talk about my, uh, my finally, my 100k plaque from YouTube has arrived so I want to do a live about that. So today is a busy day but we are going to play with this one, I cannot wait, I cannot wait. This is the 11th birthstone palette from BH Cosmetics, they're doing this every month, the first of every month they are released on the website, both in Germany and in the US. I have not seen these available anywhere else that sells BH, I haven't seen them at Ulta or like Beauty Bay, it seems to be like a BH Cosmetics website exclusive, but if you're in Europe and don't want to pay customs, shop at BH Cosmetics Germany, that's what I did. I bought this at BH Cosmetics Germany, paid for this myself with my own money. These are $9 each and all the palettes have had a similar pattern. The big color represents the color of like the stone according to BH Cosmetics, yellow for citrine and then they have a pressed glitter. This one is like a citrony yellow with a like, like a lime green shift and then they have colors that they feel go with the theme. That's how it has been all of the different months. I will leave a, a playlist up here of me using all of the palettes. This is the 11th, this is the 11th video I'm doing with these. Next month is going to be the last one. It's going to be turquoise. They've already decided which all of these are going to be for each month. They did that in January. So we've already known which stones we're doing. So if you were interested in any of these, check the playlist or wait until December to see the last one if you want to like have a peek at all of them before you decide if any of these are for you. I'm definitely going to pick up uh, turquoise once it releases on the 1st of December and then I'll of course do a video where I just sum up all of them like which one is the best one which is the least like good one because then I will have uh, used all of them but I am super super intrigued to be digging into this palette I cannot wait honestly really really interested in this one the big yellowy shade it looks super pretty I love yellow like shimmers and yellow metallics and I'm not that much into golds because I feel like they're so muted I like when they're like bright I want them to be bright. So we're definitely gonna play with the two yellows. I don't think we're doing anything with the, with the. you never know, but I don't feel like I'm gonna do something with the glitter. Uh, and I guess we're doing some browns. I don't know. Listen, let's zoom in and let's go. I'm excited. I'll link the things that I have on my face down below in case you're interested. But yeah, this is the second makeup look I have on today. So if anything is looking a little bit crusty, I think my brows are crazy, like more crazy than usual. It's because it's three o'clock right now and this is my second makeup look that I have on with the same like base makeup. It is what it is. I am gonna start with this yellowy one here. It's called Unique. I don't know if it's like unique, the color, but I'm guessing that they're trying to describe. I don't really understand why they're trying to mix astrology and birthstone because the birthstones don't have anything to do really with astrology. So I just think it's a little bit of a stretch to put in like generous, dynamic, inquisitive. I can't speak like as the names to just mix it with the zodiac sign because I don't even know which zodiac sign is meant to be for November and honestly it's I it's not my journey I don't really care I just feel like it's a little bit unnecessary to have that as well it could have been about the stone only we didn't have to mix in the zodiacs but that's that's just me I mean what else would they name the colors I guess Brown, yellow, yellow again. Listen, I would have loved if they named it yellow again. <laughs> I will say that my favorite combination with brown is yellow. I feel like there was so much like brown and orange and brown and red, but I actually like brown and yellow the most, especially when you're able to mix them together, together so they don't turn too orange, which I don't know if we'll be able with this palette though, because the brown here is leaning a little bit on the orange side, but I actually really really appreciate a brown and a yellow theme it's like a brighter and more condensed like 
uh, Urban Decay Naked Honey. I, I like it. Obviously, I am a lover of colors. I love any color, but yeah. If it's gonna be a color together with uh, brown, I prefer it to be yellow. So I'm gonna do, this is the generous shade, which is the lighter of the browns. I'm just gonna put a little bit in the crease. I think I'm gonna keep the, like the inside part here, pretty, not light, but not like, I'm not gonna put any depth there. I'm trying to not use too much so it doesn't become like too saturated too quickly because I do want to go over this with the yellow again to make sure that we're keeping that yellowy tone that I feel like this look is all about. So right now I'm just placing it and I'm going to blend it out with the yellow in just a second. I'm going back with the brush with the yellow and I'm just blending a little bit more of the yellowy matte on the edge here. Because like I said, I want to keep this yellow. So I'm just making sure that that is what it is. I mean, you can't have like a, like really a deep yellow. Like yellow in and of itself is a pretty light color. So if you want it to be a yellow look, you can't go too, too deep. Because it kind of turns brown. Like a dark yellow is a brown. <laughs> Maybe that's why they're so good together. And yes, I know before anyone comes and tears me apart, a dark yellow isn't a brown. Like, I know, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, so now with a smaller brush, I'm going to use this one that's called Inquisitive. 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 I don't really know what that word is. I mean, I think everyone that hears my channel like understand that English is not my first language but it's when we come to words like this that it truly shows because I honestly have no idea what that means. I'm not taking this up here I'm just doing a little bit out here and a little bit in on the lid just trying to keep it in the outer corner I'm gonna again blend it out with even more yellow in a little bit but I'm just trying to place it where I want it to be. I'm going to use a little bit on the lower lash line as well. Just a little bit. I feel like these are like lion colors. And now I'm just blending over this one with a little bit more of the yellow. Just trying to soften it up a little bit and bringing the yellow tone back. I'm going to do a little bit of the darkest brown just in the outer part of my lower lash line nothing not not too far in to keep it on par with the upper upper part just to connect these two two together okay I have some of the dynamic which is the more bronzy shade let's do that on the lower lash line as well I did spray it a little bit because I think it's so much easier to just paint on and you don't get as much fallout. I'm doing it on not the entire lower lash line, more in the middle. Like leaving some in the inner part and not covering up the, the, the work with it on the outer part. Now it's time for the citrine shade, which is this shimmery like sunflower yellow. It picks up really, really nice. I'm gonna spray it because then I can like just paint, paint it on. I am gonna put that on the entire, look at that, in the entire lid all the way out here. But I'm gonna use a little bit of like this shadow dynamic as well just to meet up because it's gonna be a really nice bridge color between this dark brown and this bright yellow. I'm keeping the line really sharp here in the inner part. I mean, you can see it's almost like a cut crease just because I'm using a brush that has a very like sharp edge. It's a flat sharp edge. This one is from Colourpop. It is in E4. Really nice for doing stuff like this. So you don't even need to carve. And since I spray the like the shadow, it makes it a little bit more like almost cream paint and it dries down like quickly so I'm gonna put some of this in my inner corners as well and I'm gonna meet up a little bit oh 
oh, I love this. Oh my god. Yellow is so nice. Okay, now I'm taking this and I'm cleaning it off on just, you can clean it on, off on, it, on it like a towel or anything. And I'm using some of the dynamic, dynamic and not spraying it. And I'm just gonna use it here to be a bridge in between these two colors. And I'm taking a little bit of, more of citrine, the yellow one, just painting over making sure that it looks somewhat blended and a little bit with the brush that I had the dark brown so this is gonna be this is gonna be it I like it and this did not take me a lot of time that is so delicious mmm really like it I'm gonna put some yellow in my waterline and that's gonna be it but They have really been on the roll at the end of this year. This one is really fun if, if you like these kind of shades. So fun. Okay, so that is the finished look. Everything is done and I have to say <laughs> I really like this palette. I was just talking in on polo with my friends and we were like, how will we rank them right now? And I think this is my, right now, my third favorite palette after the Peridot and the Sapphire. Even though Sapphire might be my first one. I feel like these three are the three where I've been like, wow. Although I will say the Emerald one, I also really like the Garnet one. There have been a couple of really, really, really good ones. This, I love this look. I love this look. By the way, I'm wearing my merch as well. I do have my merch link down below in case you are interested. Don't plug my merch that often, but here I am trying to plug my merch. This was a bonus video. I really want to get this up. I just have a lot of things planned and sometimes it's just nice to get things up when they're, when they're like fresh. Does that gonna give me any views? I don't think so because it's just too much content to watch, but hey, at least it's up. I have my 11th video up. There's gonna be um, a video tomorrow as well. Uh, might even be two videos tomorrow because I might get it delivered tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure. Listen, I'm on a roll. I'm having fun. I love filming. I love YouTube. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Let me know. Are you into yellows? Are you into yellow and browns? What is your favorite personal palette so far? Maybe you haven't even tried them. Just looking at them. Which one do you think is like the most appealing one? And if you have tried any of them, what did you think? And what do you think about December? I am hoping... I'm, this is me. I'm hoping turquoise is going to be a black, a gold, and like some like turquoises. Like I would love a, a like a turquoise matte, a minty matte, and a turquoise metallic, a black matte, and a gold shimmer, and a gold, like a glitter, maybe even gold. That is what I would like. I don't think that that is what is going to happen, but like, if they're asking me for help, that is what I would do. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye!